I'm here with Aaron Oman, who's the assistant coach of the AHL uh, New South Wales Waratahs. Uh, as a, can you just explain the uh, program for the Waratahs this year? So, um, as a group, we'll be, I guess, announcing the squad following the state championships, which are in June. Um, following that, we'll have a squad of uh, probably 24-odd players who will come to uh, training sessions, most likely Tuesday, Thursday nights uh, at Homebush. Um, and we'll basically be running sessions with the group there, working on certain skills through to the championships, which are in October uh, later this year. Is it any different this year because it's an Olympic year? Uh, it will be. Um, there's a few differences. The first thing is the tournament runs for two weeks straight. Previously, we've had a few weekends and then moving on into a finals week. Um, so it's more a traditional national type, title type uh, builder. Um, the other difference probably will be that we're not sure at this stage anyway whether the Australian players will be available. Um, so there is a chance that we'll be without players like uh, Simon Orchard, Matt Butterini, uh, maybe Kieran Govers, Mark Patterson, those kind of players as well um, if they go to the Olympics. Um, so if that's the case, it may be a younger looking side as well that we end up taking away. Mm, and what will you be looking for from players to make that squad? Um, traditionally, New South Wales have always been strong from an attacking point of view. Um, we've maybe conceded a few too many goals at times in certain games. Um, so we want to, I guess, make sure that we've got the right defensive structure set up. So we're looking at players that are very good defensively, both one-on-one -on -one and uh, in a group setting, whether it be with four-on-three against them, three-on-two against them, their ability to read the lines of play and cut off, cut off uh, the ball. Um, we're still looking at having the same sort of attacking guys showing plenty of flair. We still want to play that New South Wales style of hockey where we really go outside. So um, uh, our ability to basically attack from anywhere on the field will also be something that we're looking for. Mm. And what sort of things do you actually work on at training? both as a team and an individual perspective? So we do, um, we'll, we'll no doubt this year do a lot of stuff where we're working on, from an individual skill point, doing a lot of stuff in and around the circle where we're working in twos and threes. So if we're doing flow drills, it'll be working on picking up the ball going forward, um, being able to utilise your body to protect it, to receive, and linking up with other players after you make that touch and then support. Um, so a lot of ball carrier work where we're working in twos and threes, triangles, um, you know, a lot of first touch sort of stuff in and around the circle. Um, that'll be key. We'll do a lot of mini games. Um, I think there's a great, you can get a lot from running a lot of mini games where you've got set skill techniques that you want the guys working on. So we'll be doing a lot of that as well. Mm. Good, and yourself personally, what have you learned since um, becoming assistant coach at the Waratahs? So um, I've been there for three years, assistant coach to Larry. Mm. Um, it's been great, um, three years working with him. Um, he certainly taught me a lot and um, I've taken, hopefully I'll take a lot of that on this year. Um, Larry's uh, not doing it this year so um, I guess I'll have to sort of utilise a lot of the stuff that he's taught me um, on my own. Um, Barry Reid uh, will be assisting, giving me a bit of hand um, and uh, we've got Greg Painter on board as well who's a goalkeeper from um, Gordon who, who played for New South Wales, he's from New Zealand originally. He's going to be our manager so he'll be great as well at motivating the guys and um, bringing a lot of that stuff in. Um, I mean, Larry's really about, and we still influence the fact that basics are important. So whoever comes into the squad, they've got to be able to do the basics well, um, and that'll still be a key for us. Um, at the end of the day, we still want to make sure that um, if we're creating opportunities, the basics are strong enough that we're, we're basically creating opportunities and, and, get, and getting some sort of return from them. Um, so we don't want to get to a point where we're let down with a bad trap inside the circle or a bad final pass or anything like that. That's going to be that's going to be crucial to the campaign and the, and the guys that are involved in it. Right. And what sort of advice would you give to young players who have aspirations of playing at senior state level and beyond? So definitely, like the key is having good basics. I think at times some of the guys that come into the group, um, their basics might be strong at a first grade standpoint or a, or a, a junior level standpoint. But at AHL level, you're marked very tightly. You don't have a lot of time on the ball. Uh, sides get an understanding of strong skills that an individual has very, very quickly. So it's important that you've got the basics at that, that next level. So being able to trap the ball not only uh, uncontested, but certainly under pressure, and being able to use your body to receive the ball going forward or be able to roll out of an area that's uh, where, where you're closed down is important. Um, preparation. For, certainly from our strikers looking at return, whether it's a short corner or getting a shot on goal, it's crucial that those guys that come into the squad are able to get some sort of return in around the circle. Fantastic. Thanks, Azo. I appreciate very much your time with having this chat and good luck with this year. Thanks, mate.